Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. Alright, since I haven't had any updates in a while, I figure I would do an update on this. And if you've gotten this from me recently, the Simple Multiplayer Steam template, then this will be a fix for it because apparently what I had labeled as 420 was actually the 419 version. So it won't work. So, quick, easy fix. Whatever it, you know, set up to for your project, go ahead and rename it or clone it. So in this case, mine is SMST underscore 420. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select clone. And I'm just going to change the name to whatever. Because I'm going to delete this one anyway. But let's go ahead and create that. Continue. And it'll go ahead and make that. And once it does make that, the next step we're going to do is, once we see that it's done, usually it doesn't take but a couple seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Get the hell off my screen. And another thing really quickly. For those who um, do tutorials and videos and say, um, uh, put the icon on your desktop, they need to have their genitals removed. Um, never just add things to your desktop. Clean computer. Okay? So, we have this. We're not going to open it up. What we're going to do next is we are going to launch our version that we want to install it to. In this case, 4.23.1. This is the current version. So we're going to go ahead and launch that. And we're going to let that come up. Sorry, had a power outage. I had everything all set up ready to, to stream for the video. And apparently somebody ran into a power pole and took out our power. So the entire neighborhood was, was without power for about an hour. All right, while it's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and be prepping the rest of the stuff again. Now, as you're familiar with, uh, whenever you got it from me, and I gave you the link to the Google Drive location for the file, and you've extracted that, it'll come up as a project. Um, you can actually run that project. Should be. Uh, hurry up, come on. So many folders. Yep, you'll have the SMST underscore 420, and all you have to do is just, if you've got WinRAR, it's right click, drag, drop, and extract to, and it'll create the folder. You're going to have this right here in it. Uh, simply run that, and it should work. 420. It may not, but it's no problem. You know, just try to run it. If you have any problems with it, let me know. Because one of the things we're going to have to change is in the config. We don't really need to change that, but what's missing here is a folder. And I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to repackage it and get that uploaded. Just remind me if you need a current version of it, and I will get the latest update to you. Okay, whenever you just launch the browser, you're going to come up with this right here, and go ahead and select your version. It's going to be for the wrong version, so open, and open a copy. Alright, so it's going to give you an error, which is no problem. We're fine with that. Just select no, and let it do its thing. So when you get the, the current version of this, it will be packaged up for 4.23.1. If you wish to change it to another version, the link that I also gave you for the plugin is going to be this one right here. And just get with me again if you don't have it, and I'll relink it to you. Just select the version that you wish to run. 
with 423, 422, 421, whatever. Uh, pick the version that you need to run. And as far as I remember, these three versions are the ones that are going to be key. If you're running an older version, let me know and I'll show you how in another video how to patch it to another version. But once you've downloaded that and extracted it, now see it should have failed in loading that and, and that's fine by selecting no because we did not want to do it. Now you can see we've got two different versions now. We've got the 420 and 423 version. I'm going to go ahead and delete the 420 version of the temporary one that we created. And that's fine. Then in our file browser, file explorer, go to your default location. The default location for your projects is going to be under libraries, documents, my documents, unreal projects, and we got this one right here. And see the name of it is smst underscore blah. It put 423 at the end here, which is fine. Um, what we're going to have to do here is once we open it up, there is a plugins folder. And this is the plugins folder that we're going to have to um, make a change to. This is an older version right here. We just need to overwrite that. So what you can do is where you've gone and downloaded it to your advanced sessions plugins. You don't need the example blueprints folder at all. I mean, how you can delete it if you want to. Um, your advanced sessions folder, you can just, you don't need to open it up. You just need to be in the root there. And what I do is right click, drag, and drop into the plugins folder copy here and it's going to ask you do you want to merge this folder so just say yes do this right there and then copy and replace and yes or you can just click that and hit yes and it'll overwrite everything and create a correct version for 423 now or for whatever version you're patching this to so now if we run this, it'll load up and it should work correctly. Now, we'll just go in here and take a look at it, see that it's functioning correctly, not getting any errors. Any day now. Come on, you can do it. Dismiss, I don't care. That's from something else. I've got some outdated plugins that I have not updated that I don't like that I'm not going to update. So um, you can actually just go ahead and go to here and do it in new editor window or standalone game. If you do it as a standalone game, it'll function just like you're actually playing the game. So hitting escape won't do anything. Now it's saying go connect to Steam Dummy, and this is on purpose. I don't have Steam running because I didn't start it after, you know, restarting my computer after the power um, went out. So if you're not connected to Steam, this is not going to work correctly. And this is a simple multiplayer Steam template is the name of it. So um, to avoid this error, go ahead and hit exit game and make sure you have Steam running. Okay, on. So I can close you back down again. Pardon the sniffles. Tis the season for sinus colds. All right. Downloading. No, I don't think you are going to download. Um, pause. Exit. Okay, now with Steam running, if we go back in here and play it again in the standalone game, it should then come up and recognize that Steam is loaded. And my Steam username and avatar right here, access to Steam community while playing, it'll come up as you are playing Space War. And that is a default because if you do not have a Steam developer app ID, then it's just going to use a generic. And if you need some advanced tutorials on how to use this, then um, I will show you. 
but uh, it's using Steam App ID number 418, which is the developer app ID. So it, it won't matter. It, it'll still work. It'll do just fine. The worst case scenario, you might find some errant game names that uh, you don't recognize, but they just won't work. So if you want to play single player, you click single player, and it'll go in, and yay, there was much rejoicing. You run around and play with yourself, I mean by yourself. So you hit escape, you can resume game, or go back to the main menu, go on to host a game, select, uh, or if you want to find a game, click on find, and then find lobby, it'll search for any available lobbies. If there are none, you know, it takes about 10 seconds of searching, and then nothing, go back on host, you can create your own game name, hit make, and it will create. Um, currently, right now, you can see that was unfinished of any of the other controls. You can hit V to change your view um, to a first person view. Just changes the camera location, and you have a health bar. That's it. Um, it does work. It works just lovely. Um, hit escape, resume game or main menu, and exit. So, there we go. Um, I hope this helps. Um, that should get you rolling. What I'm going to do now is close this one out. And I've already done this, but go ahead and I would suggest doing this. Right click on it and select clone. And go ahead and rename it or make the clone version into SMST underscore 423. That way you know that you have the correct version and you can get rid of the original one that was your temporary so now whenever you're going to create a new project you can start by okay I want to name my project whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and select clone and I'm actually gonna be working on another project here this evening and um, uh, just it's gonna be a prototype so I'm just gonna Replace the name with um, poly underscore proto type and hit create and continue. It will go ahead and make a new version of that. And this is how I create all of my projects as I start that way. I create a clone of my original SMST underscore 423 or 420 or whatever version I'm working on. And I'm going to be working on 423 version from now on. Um, so now that that's created, I can go into the project and let it load up and it will work just as intended. And I'll show you a couple little things really quickly. Um, I want to keep this video relatively short. The one thing I always do is go to edit, editor preferences, and for me, main win main window is my default, and I uncheck enable auto save. You are the master of your own save files. Now, if you want to start creating your own custom maps and say, okay, I'm in my lobby map, I make a bunch of changes to it. And I want to create a new map name. I can create a new level. And uh, we'll just make this default. And just so we know that it's something different. Delete all that stuff. Anytime I'm working on a project, I always have a test map to work on. So I'm just going to use this as my test map. And now, we'll go back over here, selected viewport, exit game, because we need to select our game mode to third person game mode. Hey, you can go kiss my ass. Um, so now we hit play, and we can walk around and do what we need to do, test out things in this map. So what I'll do now is save all and save selected. Make sure I'm in my maps folder and I'm going to call this test map save. Now currently this map is not available in the playlist. There is no playlist, there's just two maps. So if I want to play on this map I'm gonna to have to say if I want to get rid of my 
lobby map. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit F2, Control C, and then click off of it. That just copied the map name. Whenever you're setting up what you want for your main menu map or your initial map you want to load into, then go into your widgets folder and your main menu underscore W, which is your main menu widget. Go into your graph, and if you look, we open level. This is going to be the one under make server button, and we can change that by hitting control V. And if we want our single player map to do the same thing, come over here to single player button, select it, control V, compile, save, close. Now, if we want to, we can go back to our main menu map. Save selected. Now if we hit play, we'll just do new Pi window. It, if you do a new window, it is not going to connect to Steam. So if you want to check any of the Steam functionality or whatever, then you're going to have to run it as a standalone game. So if I go to single player, we're on our test map. If we go into multiplayer, host, make, we're on our test map. All right, that are that. Um, can show some other things later on, like if you're wanting to make a map list and add things to your your menu and so forth. Um, in your main menu here, under level name, would end up creating a new variable for this. And now we can set that somewhere else. And it can pull from that data and so forth. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. But that's a little bit something different for uh, getting more technical into creating things. But as of the way it stands now, everything works. That's This video is just going to show you how to correctly set it up for whatever version you're working on. If you're working on versions 419 and older, then it's going to be slightly different. So if you're using those versions, let me know. But this is going to get you to work for 420, 421, 422, and 423, which are the current versions. But it should work for any versions after today. If there's any changes, then I'll make another video. All right, so if you guys have any questions on this, let me know in Discord. I don't check messages on YouTube because I have a Discord channel. Link is in the description. If you want to get the Simple Multiplayer Steam template, then the link is in the description as well to my PayPal link. Send me um, $20 US dollars, not Canadian dollars, not Australian dollars, US dollars. And in the note, tell me what your username is on Discord and that you're you're wanting the um, the simple multiplayer steam template and also let me know in discord send me a dm and we'll coordinate everything there but if you have any tech questions on it just use a general ue4 channel and ask away that's what i'm there for i keep um discord i, I run three 32 inch monitors and discord has its own monitor it's on a 32-inch monitor, which is within arm's reach for me. So I can see it. If you, you ask a question, feel free. Just ask. Do not use mentions. Do not use Discord messages or, or private messages unless it's something that is private. Anything normal, just use the regular Discord channels. Thanks. Love you guys, and we'll see you later on. I'm going to be doing some more videos this afternoon on uh, working on a just a prototype project with the... Um, Polygon stuff from City Studios. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.